All right, we're gonna focus on the uh, lifter installation. While we're uh, getting ready to install these, you're gonna see that we took some care into uh, identifying which one was which. So rear intake, okay, rear exhaust, so that we can get them back in because this is not replaceable. On this engine, these bore holes here are for, uh, they're casted into the block. So if you mess this up, you're gonna actually mess up the block. Let's see if I can. Uh, Tip that up to show you there. Okay. Look at this lifter. I want to point something out here. And this is in the service manual. Okay, I've talked about this before in our Evo series or whatnot. That oil hole is what fills the lifter with oil. There's great videos out there, better than I could ever do, explaining how lifters work and how they fill up with oil and hydraulically lock. Um, go seek them out. There's great stuff out there. As I flip this around, you're going to see another flat edge here, and there is no oil hole. Correct? Just with the observation of that. So. so observation is really key to this, right? The other thing that they're going to do is they're going to talk about how we have flats here. Okay, When we go to assemble this and put this in, this retaining, they call it anti-rotational pin, is what stops the lifter from being able to spin in the bore. We just want this lifter to go up and down. Okay, So that's what puts it in place. So the whole idea of putting this hole in, in a certain position is that we want to take and you're going to see here I'll, I'll, I'll model this is we want the oil hole to be facing inboard right per the service manual you'll see that we want that to be facing inboard because the oil gets fed do you guys remember when we did this assembly the oil gets fed through the back of the case through there it gets fed this direction yep, yep. that's going to fill that as fast as possible before i do that just doing a little teaching here i can't forget to put some oil on that so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the right spot as my rear intake. We'll match it up. Same thing. Oil holes here backwards. Put my rear exhaust. And I'll, I'll tip this forward in a second. Thanks, Anthony. Okay, I'll, I'll tip this up so you guys can see from there. Okay, so these can't rotate now, and they're in place by that, that pin. Let me show something else. The gasket, it's important here. Do you see how the gasket goes over the pin? Yep. yep. Okay, we would not want to be in a hurry and accidentally put this way. It, you would assemble it, and then you'd go to put your push rod tubes and everything on, you would be having a bad day. So you you got to be intentional with your gasket as well. Okay, set it up. Okay, one great thing about the twin cam is this was super, super easy to do compared to the alignment process and everything else. You could mix these up, so I'm going to use some caution here to take a look at this now. And I want to make sure that the angle, do you see how this is taller on this side than here? Yep. Okay, we're taller here. We could see it aims right here. So let's see if they're interchangeable. Would we have a problem? Yep. yep. Okay, so we want to be careful. It's another reason that we, you know, label and mark everything when we take it apart. So nothing, nothing much to this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and torque these to the 90 to 120 inch pounds. I'm going to duplicate it on the other side, and then we'll move forward.